Okay, but, but what does it mean to just be able to play soccer uh, at Shawnee State and have the opportunity to uh, continue your collegiate career? Yeah, I, uh, it means a lot. I mean, um, obviously, after the closure of our program at UC, it was pretty tough to take in, but to be here and have the opportunity to start over means a lot. Um, what did it mean? I think you played soccer in Zambia. So, what did, what did that mean to have that experience and be able to? Have to be able to uh, continue your talents there and be able to grow in that program. Uh, you meant a lot. Had a lot of good coaches. Um, my coach now coaches for the Barcelona Academy over there, so I learned a lot from him. He had a lot of confidence in me. So just every time I had the ball, allowed me to just pretty much attack and always just learn my weaknesses and stuff. So I had a, a lot of good support there. So feels good to be able to translate everything I learned there to here at SSU. Um, w when did you get into soccer and, and what's kind of your passion and how's that grown, you know, since you got into the sport? Sorry? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, when it, when did you start soccer and how's your passion grown since getting involved in the sport? Right. I started at about the age of three or four and my all my siblings, uh, we always used to play one-on-ones, like just so uh, with two chairs and set it up and just compete to first one to the score wins and you know that competitiveness kind of grew as like until today you know and it's only grown more and I'm more hungry to win any title for any team I play for so I love the game and I want to take it as far as I possibly can. You mentioned your sisters who what are their names and how did have they helped you just not only from a personal standpoint but soccer standpoint as you mentioned? Uh, my sisters they're they're so helpful to me like I don't even know where to start anytime I need anything is there's literally just a simple message away and they, they give me everything I need. Um, you know, uh, being a part of the Shawnee State culture now, what's it been like getting to know the, the coaching staff and the, your teammates and what how practice is going as you've seen so far? Uh, it's been amazing. A lot of my teammates, about 12 of them, are internationals and it's just been an easy kind of, you know, transition in and the coaches as well very easy to talk to and everyone was so welcoming that it was just a really easy transition to move from Cincinnati to here in Portsmouth. Um, and finally, what are you hoping to accomplish as part of this group? Uh, it, the, the, the scoring offense is pretty established, but you're going to really help in that area and in other areas, I'm sure, as well. Right. Uh, my goal this year is honestly to just make history. I heard that um, the school's never uh, been to the national tournament and that we have a really good shot this year. So my goal was really to come and impact the team in a way that we can make history and not only make it to the national tournament, but win the whole thing. All right. Well, Bobo, thank you so much, thank man. Thank you very much. Thank have you. a good one, man. Thank you.